Governor, thanks for a few minutes here. Um, why come up here to the Finger Lakes? I, I don't want to inject any bias on my part as a, a native of the Finger Lakes, but why was it important for you to come up here to the Finger Lakes and showcase this, uh, this industry? Uh, you know, major priority for us for two years has been working on the economy, especially the economy in upstate New York, because the, uh, that's where the problem is. The economy in downstate New York is now fluctuating with the national uh, tide, but the truth is the down downstate economy has done very, very well compared to the rest of the country, and the upstate economy has done very poorly for a long time. So the focus has been on the upstate economy. Uh, and that's what the tax cuts are all about, and that's what investing in SUNY is all about, and that's what the startup tax-free program is all about. How do we get the upstate economy running? One of the things we're focusing on is tourism, and we have an industry-by-industry industry strategy. Uh, and today combined both. This was about the wine industry in particular, but also the tourism industry, and the, the interplay between the two and the synergy between the two. The tourism industry is driving the wine industry, and the wine industry is driving the tourism industry. Uh, so they're actually they're benefiting each other. Tourism is big business in this state. Uh, I've spent the entire summer, uh, in many ways, bolstering that tourism and making sure people know what we have uh, and attending a lot of events to bring, frankly, more publicity to them so people get a sense of what's actually going on. But we have NASCAR and Watkins Glen. We have white water rafting, we have the PGA in Oak Hill. So uh, I think people, uh, frankly, haven't really appreciated all the great work uh, and tourism opportunities that are in upstate New York. And governor of the state, uh, part of it is you're head of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, as an analogy. And I'm here to promote the state and promote the people of the state and promote the businesses of the state. The wine industry is doing great in New York. Uh, it's another story that hasn't been told, frankly. The New York wine industry has come a long way. It's a big economic engine, and they make a great wine. Uh, so we're bringing some attention to that. Uh, these are people who uh, really love this state. They've worked very hard to build an industry out of nothing. They were told for many years, you can't do it. You can't grow wine in New York. Well, they're on the map. Uh, they're making some wines that are internationally known. Literally, they're, they're Rieslings. So uh, we had an award ceremony, and we wanted to bring attention to the wine industry in this state. You've been pretty, con you've been pretty consistent from when you first became governor. Is one of your goals is to try to get people in your old neighborhood in Queens, in the boroughs, in Long Island, and get them to realize what's upstate. Do you think you've been successful in, in that in two and a half years in now? Uh, two and a half years in, have we made progress? Yes. Uh, now, is there a long road to hoe? Yeah. And has this state government been asleep for a very long time? Yes, it has. Uh, but there's no doubt that we've brought a new energy uh, and a new functionality, if you will, to government. And it's working. One of the real opportunities I think we have is to say to people in downstate New York, come to upstate New York. Visit upstate New York. We're in the summer. We're in the tourism season here. They're looking at all sorts of ads saying, come to this state, you can do this. Come to this state, you can do this. Stay in New York and you can do it here. This is the one place that you can do anything that you can do in any of these other places. Uh, and really, downstate New York doesn't know what we have in upstate New York. We get 50 million tourists per year to New York City. 50 million. New York City is one of the most visited places on the planet. How do we get part of that 50 million to take a day trip to upstate New York? Uh, part of it is they have to know about it. So we invite Mayor Mike Bloomberg to the Adirondacks, right? Uh, we have all sorts of joint projects now going on with the subway system and the train system and the airports to get our message into the New York City airports. So when people get off the plane, they see pictures of this beautiful upstate New York. That's why I want the casinos in upstate New York uh, you want to be, you're in New York City, you want a casino? There is no casino in New York City. You can go to New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, or you can go to upstate New York. So it would be another magnet to get people to upstate New York. Because the economy has been bad for too long. And it's not enough to curse the darkness, light a candle. And that's what we're doing.
Two more questions. Uh, wine in grocery stores has been a big issue for years, particularly during the Patterson years. There was a big push for it. I'm sure some of the people you met and shook hands with today are supporters of that, but you've said in the past that that is not something you support. Why is that? Yeah, I don't support wine in grocery stores because it would have negative consequences for other business sectors. And it wouldn't benefit just New York State wines. It would, it would be available to every wine uh, and it wouldn't have a specific impact on New York State wine. And frankly, I'm interested in primarily helping New York State businesses. It can't be a happy medium legislatively. Um, it can kind of please both sides, selling only New York wines, or is that just too much of a problem? It, we believe it's not constitutional. You can't show a preference for one state's products in your laws. Did you, uh, President Obama, we learned President Obama is going to be coming upstate next week. Uh, Binghamton, Syracuse, Buffalo, three cities that, as you know, could use a shot in the arm. Uh, that, that's got to make you pretty happy that he's going to be focusing on those areas. Well, uh, I'd say that's great. You know, if the president wants to come to upstate New York and talk about uh, the economy and growing the economy, that's the, that's the song sheet that we've been singing from. Uh, that's what we need. Uh, so that would be great. I don't know what the definitive plans are, but we would welcome him here. We always do. Uh, and there couldn't be a better topic than the upstate economy. Would you like to travel with him if you can fit that in? Yeah, I, you know, we, whenever I, it's always a delight to see him. Uh, however I can help, uh, I'd like to help, um, but it's always a pleasure to see him. And finally, I think our PBS viewers would die to know, Andrew Cuomo, is he a red or is he a white wine connoisseur? Which do you prefer? Oh, he's a both. He's, he's a Yankee, he's a Yankees and a Mets, he's a Bills and a Jets, and he's red and he's white. Thanks, Governor. Thanks. And Rosé. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you.